paradox of this, though, is that we're expected to do this alone. Um, accept yourself. Learn to love yourself. But do it by yourself. Don't do it in relation to other people, which is... My, my, my. It's a bunch of bullshit, is what I would say, because... It's an arbitrary distinction we're making between self and other, between my person and that person and that person and that person. All of us, on some level or another, belong to something or someone or some group. Or You can belong to God. You can belong to the universe. You can make it as big as you want to. But you still, in your mind, are conceptualizing a space in which you exist. So you have to belong somewhere. And if you don't belong anywhere, where, you know, you're homeless. You have no home. You have no home. That makes me feel so sad to feel like that feeling of, I have no home. Where is my home? I'm looking. I'm looking around me. And I just, I just don't see it. I don't see it. I know that it's not about what I know. I don't, I don't even want to go there. I just don't see it. I see... I see objects, I see forms, I see shapes, I see things, colors, textures, sensations. I feel cold and wet on my skin and dry at the same time. What the fuck is that all about? But where is home? Where is home? Does anybody want to clue me in on this? Because I can't find it. I can't find it. There's supposed to be some dawning moment of realization where Ah, yes. Ah, yes, here it is. I've been here all along. And it's me that has been here all along. It's not just that I have been here all along. It's not just that I've been, that there is a separation between me and the space that I'm in. But it's that, ah, I have been here all along. The I as the self that is not just, that is, that is individual. It is not, um, it is not nothing and it is not God. It is not, it's me. It's, it is me. The, the, this is a vital distinction that while it's not always true, it is very useful in certain moments of our process of awakening because I am not this. I am not this space. I'm not this environment. I am not any of this. But it is me. That's not exactly the right way to say it, but, but it's I. It's the I. It's the self. It's the self that is the only way that we can... I know I, every time I say that phrase, the only way, I'm just trying to emphasize something that like... We cannot find ourselves in any kind of external form like God or religion or however you would conceptualize that. It, you cannot find yourself in those things. You cannot find yourself in those things because it's, it's, the, wrong, it's the wrong direction. This might not be true. Like That might actually work for you in the moment where you are. I'm just saying, I'm, this is just my own lessons for myself. Um, like... It is I. I am here. Like, I am here. Um, I'm trying to bring forth this self. I'm trying to bring forth this self through this space, through this, like, this weird place in which consciousness seems to arise and seems to, like, attack. It's like this, it's almost like a, it's like this weird shaped, like, pivot that is, like, I don't know how it works. It's this weird spiral thing consciousness that just whoop pops up like that it's like it's almost like a black hole it's almost like a vortex but it's it's like a hinge it's like a hinge in the universe where suddenly you can just 
spring forth and it's like you're spiraling out in some way that it's very hard to explain we end up hooking on to it and feeling like that's me oh yes now i've got this cloak of like self-deception <laughs> it's me um and that you know the spiritual process tries to like unhook that release it it's like taking you just kind of disrobe um and then boom you're naked you know you're exposed um it's like the the spiritual coming out of emergence and you know into this the new space and re rebirth and all that but yeah, I'm, I'm getting ahead of myself because where the the juice was was feeling where I feel like I have no home that's where the emotion lies because I, I feel that I say those words I have no home and, and then I feel I feel immediately just sadness like that's not right that's not right that doesn't work that doesn't make sense um, it, it's like I'm looking, I'm looking around. It's like I'm looking around, looking around for the place that I belong. Where do I belong? Where do I belong? And it's, it's, we, it's, it's, it's somewhere inside, in the heart. It's not, it's not an external seeing that, that is required. Um, looking for that in other places or people. Um, In some ways, it's almost embarrassing. It's not embarrassing, but it's like, I feel like, how, how am I the age that I am, having had as many years of life experience on this planet as I have, and, and I'm still not getting, and I'm not there. Like, I'm not, and I'm still not here. I still haven't arrived. And... Like, I get that people will say it's an arriving in the moment and it's a continual process of arriving, but no, I don't think that that's right. I think that there is a fundamental arrival that happens first, that once we feel that sense of what, what is it that, what is it that is lacking here that I feel like I need to look for it there? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I can feel it like it's like <clears throat> and look my experience is going to be different from yours however I can just say that I, f I feel that in uh, a holding in the chest in the sternum where these ribs come together and, and especially in the back like the back of the heart not it's not so much the front of the heart but it's it's both but there's the back of the heart more so that for me um, needs to be released more. It's like the chamber, the space behind the heart. That's that is the like amphitheater of the heart. That is like for me personally. I've always imagined for me it's an emerald, um, emerald chamber. It's that color of green, emerald. Um, it's like almost kind of like the Matrix, where there's that black with the green lines. But it's, so it is like a dark chamber with with bright emerald green that's kind of how i envision my heart space but yeah you know it's i I'm, i don't want to force it i'm feeling like 235 whatever that you know but yeah um i feel like that's probably enough for today so see you next time Well, I don't know where this journey leads, but you're welcome to watch. And like I said, hopefully maybe you'll be entertained. Um, and happy to connect with you. Uh.